Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. This is Luna the Moon Tarot. So let's see what is the energy update for today. What is it that your person is thinking and feeling and what their ne next action going to be? What has been the past life between you and your person in this connection? What are you thinking? What are your energy update today? Energy card of the day? What has How the past has been? What have you been thinking and what the action you are going to take towards your person in this particular connection? And at the end, we will t pull out some messages as well along with the collectives uh, all right so before i proceed do not forget to like share subscribe to my channel if you are a cross watcher then uh, do subscribe and do let me know which bit of the reading resonated with you and also uh, if you haven't and if you're already a subscriber do leave me a comment which bit of the reading resonated with you in case if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one paid session you can hit me up on instagram and i'll be happy to help you with the reading personalized re personalized reading it's a paid one you can book me up and if you are looking for healings you can definitely go ahead and get the love healing third party card cutting or card cutting from your past exes uh, self-healing for uh, any visa approval for any obsession uh, spell you know there are multiple intentions whatever your intention is healing is there for it be it job money career success love third party whatever you are thinking anything and everything on this earth can be healed right so you can uh, book the healing with me as well and i'll be happy to book it for you and do it thousands of my clients have benefited out of it i am sure you will be able to benefit out of it too right so let's see so by the way this is my new oracle card deck so i will take some time to adapt it meanwhile i may uh you know kind of refer to the guidebook that has come with this so let's start what is the current energy of your connection current energy of your connection energy overall energy of this connection What is the overall energy please okay that was quick mm. add some um, if you just look at the card very carefully i will definitely refer to the guidebook as well but i feel that this person is trying to gain some sort of knowledge and the divine and angels and their ancestors are trying to help her so somewhere down the line i feel that you are seeking for some kind of answer or knowledge you're trying really hard but then right now if you ask me you need to follow your intuitions because your angels and guides are actually trying to uh, uh you know uh, your ancestors are trying to tell you a few things and you will only get to know through some um intuitions if you tune into your intuitions or the signs i feel that you may be getting up signs uh right now your intuitions are guiding the way to you so whatever answers that you have been searching for in the books or outside as well they are right there and you are being guided pretty well all right so when i read from the book uh let's see what the description says but as per me it's like that uh, a candle cast like a candle cast light on an open book held by a young woman sitting at a desk her eyes are drawn to the side as if she was distracted from her reading by a curious thought or some no someone nearby she is surrounded by several people many of whom are somewhat translucent and glowing an angel bends and whispers at some i arrive i am here i attend you at some is a single word that has many many meanings first it affirms your own strength and focus in the present you can use it as a command word whenever you find yourself distracted from what's at hand yeah add some i'm here and feel yourself attend to the situation or person before you 
This word also declares your arrival at your goals and all your wishes coming true. Wow. Say at some arrive and take a moment to see yourself reaching your goal. Absolutely. Whenever you get this card, know that you are on your way to the results you seek with the help of others and the glorious help of spirit. Like I said, you are being guided. You are being told. So, add some this card whenever this pops up the simple meaning of this particular card is whenever it pops up in your reading you are going on the right direction you are going on the right path you are about to get the res results that you have always seeked for the answers that you have seeked for right this card also reminds you to be assured that no matter what's happening in your life spirit is always there for you your ancestors your guides are always there for you you are protected by the divine right they reach out to you sharing their light and power and serving you in every way from the least to the highest from ganma to divine see i told you right an eternal community attends you say add some and take some time to attend them too you can act on your promise to god as spirit lifts you upon their shoulders you are present for each other and together you arrive at your dreams wow so what you have to do is just have to close your eyes and sense all your spirit guides gathering Take a deep breath and feel the words, Atsum, I arrive inside you. The divine stand next to you as you arrive at your highest dream. See it now. Such a beautiful card deck. I'm so happy with this one. So definitely whatever things that you have been manifesting or seeking for, any answers, you are going on the right direction. You are going on the right path. That is what angels are guiding you. That's what divine is guiding you. That's what your ancestors are also guiding you. Right? So whenever you receive this card, just say, Atsum, I have arrived and you are actually on the right direction and your wish fulfillment is right there. You are about to receive the results that you have been manifesting. Born of the deck, we have Archangel Raphael, which is an angel of healing so archangel Raphael is an angel of healing so right now i feel that many of you is doing uh, your internal self introspection and internal work and somewhere down the line i feel that uh, it is somewhere related to your your love because winged messengers and two of roses i feel that somewhere down the line some message is going to arrive in your life you are healing you have done the uh, your manifestation you have done your internal work and now is the time when your manifestations are going to come true it's going to fulfill and it's going to come true uh just keep doing the good work just keep doing your manifestations because i see things are going to turn around for you in a very good way it is just around the corner and you are healing and you have healed the best part is that you know how to heal yourself you are doing a lot of self introspection which majority of people don't know how to do so healing is a part of actually uh accepting what is happening letting universe do what it is supposed to do also healing is a part of uh paying gratitude to the universe in a way wherein whatever manifestations that you are doing whatever you're thinking you are um, actually letting universe do it for you by healing you are leaving the control you are surrendering you are accepting right and that is the key of your manifestation when you heal you surrender at the same point of time you forget what's the ifs and buts and hows and whens right and why is so that is the time when things start happening for you when you stop questioning and you just start healing now let's see what is the energy card of the day of your person wow i don't know but i feel majority maybe a minority will be going through a mercury retrograde but yesterday the uh, the the the, the uh the energies were unsettled but today i don't know with the beginning of this card which with this card itself i feel that the energies today are much more calmer and settling down and majority of you people are getting into self introspection and healing mode right now right what is the energy card of the day of your person Seven of Wands. Somebody is pushing back. Somebody is not ready to come out of their comfort zone. Somebody is not ready to uh, take the challenges head on. 
right i feel somewhere down the line uh, in your person's life there are a lot many challenges which they are going to face today but this person is not ready to open their eyes and face the challenges head on they can be situation they can be stuff this person is uh, very stubborn it seems um somewhere down the line i also feel that uh, you may be getting a pushback from your person today because they are not in the mood to accept or say yes to everything today right so there can be some arguments try to avoid argument today because they are not in that energy three of wands what is going to happen today in your love life what is your person's past in this connection what happened in the recent past between you and your person okay so i feel that this person was waiting to enter back in your life right in the recent past that can be within next 24 to 48 hours what i see or in the recent uh, past i see that this person was waiting for to make an entry in your life because that is something that gives them happiness because they can't stay away so they were waiting for the right time when they can enter in your life and they are now in probably if you have been going through a small no contact situation i see that they have come in or you have come in again and you guys are talking you have started talking again and they are feeling very happy about it but at the same point of time i feel that your person need, uh, feels that you know there is a need of a job change there is a need of skill upgradation this person definitely is uh, thinking about finances thinking about job career this person is trying their level best it seems because they are trying to balance their life their personal professional life they want to have they want to gain this balance when it comes to their finances and their career as well i see this person is trying to upgrade their skills probably they are undergoing some kind of training from from the employer may be traveling pretty soon uh, because of uh, training but there is some sort of upgradation of skills uh, here for few of you i feel that you may be getting a job offer that would uh, require you to relocate as well uh, with king of cups i see that somewhere down the line uh, king of cups i see that somewhere down the line uh, you know uh, this person has a lot of love to offer but uh, somewhere down the line i think there has been some sort of disappointment when it comes to uh, their finances they are trying their level best but somewhere down the line their efforts are not enough because i see a disappointment on this female's face right they are trying to save money but the money is like uh, dropping away right but three of pentacles also tells me that few of you may be in a third party situation uh they can be a possibility for people who are not in a third party situation then i see that there are things uh, in your life which i see like uh, when it comes to uh, uh investing uh emotions in this connection i see that is missing so there is no balance here this person is missing that balance probably they are investing more and you are not and that is why uh, that is what is making them um little aggressive irritable and sad in this connection and majority of the fight may even happen because of that yeah okay now let's see what are your energies uh, today and what is the energy card for you today this is for you so if you haven't subscribed to my channel cross watchers please do subscribe so that i am able to catch up with your energies next what is the energy card of the day The high priestess listen to your intuitions today your intuitions are going to speak to you listen to your intuitions there are a lot many secrets that you will get to know a lot many answers that were that lot many questions that will be answered get in touch with yourself meditate uh, if you want to consult a tarot card reader you can and probably most of you will be consulting a tarot card a psychic uh, today a tarot card reader today but i see that you are very much guided to listen to your intuitions right and at the same point of time you are somebody who is very passionate who are uh, you are somebody who wants that passion passion uh, passionate love and that is something that you're looking forward for uh, right let's see what has how has been the past with you past energies in you with this person five of wands there has been conflicts clearly you guys were arguing there has been some clashes disagreement conflicts seven of pentacles and two of wands i feel that uh, 
you know you are somewhere down the line and two of wands so somewhere down the line you f know within yourself that uh, in order for uh, this love this connection to grow you need to be patient and you need to watch observe because seven of pentacles is a card of uh, patience watching observing letting it grow and see where it goes it's like going with the flow and uh, you're kind of waiting watching observing how this connection is going to grow because there has been a lot of conflicts between you and your person but in the future you are still ready to wait give it a chance and see how it's going to go so in your energy in past energies i feel that there has been some amount of conflict you're ready to give them another chance you're ready to wait and see how future is for you in this particular connection the knight of swords tells me that there has been conflict between you and your person and your person was a little aggressive there can be a third party situation as well because this person has two people in their mind and on the card right so that is also one of the uh, issue where this connect uh, this uh, conflict also popped up so that is an impatient and confused love <laughs> so definitely you are confused you are being impatient and uh, you don't know what is in store in the future two of pentacles again there's two twos two of wands two of pentacles being indecisive whether it is to be whether it is not to be whether you are the one or somebody else is the one decision making and balancing is very important right now you're trying to do that three of wands there's a lot of exploring and uh, promising love so you kind of waiting watching observing where this connection is gonna go like i said you are literally waiting watching observing you're trying your level best so that things uh to give it another shot to give it another chance and see where this connection is gonna go right now let's see let's see what is the collective spread what is the collective energy for you both of this relationship collective energy of this relationship there was a call that was taken judgment definitely there has been a call that has been taken and what call is it somebody decided something somebody decided something i think it is you only because you are giving it a chance you are giving it a try whether this particular connection is meant to be or not meant to be right oh taking a call juggling and regrets okay so what i feel right now you have or your person has taken a call because somewhere down the line somebody is regretting something here somebody did something because of which they are regretting the past they shouldn't have taken this call it seems like uh, right and this person is regretting something out here this also tells me that there has been some amount of conflict some amount of confusion in this particular connection because of which somebody made a choice because of which because of which there is a conflict that may have popped up in this connection or because of which there was a lot of confusion that was created and now this person is kind of regretting i feel that this person uh, was involved in the third party because over here as well i see that this person is thinking about two people right and two twos two people two people there's a very strong card that that says there has been a third party or there is a third party here i don't know who's uh, with whom this particular reading is going to resonate but do re uh, leave me a comment down below has it be has there been a third party in quite uh, quite recently in the past uh, uh and if there is a c uh, third party in the current energy as well but i see this is the past energy so it can be a very decent past as well mid uh mainly yeah so i see that the this person took a call because this person was juggling between you and the third party situation and they took a call by you know they did something with the third party and because of which they are now regretting the past right there has been or probably you did did it so take how it may resonate all right probably you did it so you never know what is it this per what is why are the regrets in this connection what regrets is it for yeah uh eight of swords five of pentacles uh, what i feel uh, somewhere down the line they tried to abandon or you tried to abandon this connection by being with the third party but somewhere down the line they couldn't they were completely stuck on you and they now feel sorry about what really happened sorry it's windy outside i just like to keep the window open because the fresh energy and air gives me a lot of you know uh calms me down yeah so 
this third party because of this third party i think that this person uh, kind of tried to leave you abandon this connection or something happened and you got to know but this person couldn't do that because they were very much stuck on you they tried to but they were very much stuck on you and probably you got to know because of which this person try uh, came in and they uh, they kind of apologized as well yeah so i see that this person now is feeling very sorry about their behavior it seems right and right now they are trying to heal you are trying to heal this particular connection because of the damage that has been caused because of their their actions it seems them because uh, you are kind of giving them a chance it seems you're tr kind of testing them and this person is kind of trying to balance and what not so let's see what are the current energies uh, of this person towards you current energies current energies of your person towards you please okay four of wands king of swords somewhere down the line i feel that they are trying to work really hard they are trying to build their career king of wands tells me that they are very much invested at their work uh when it comes to their personal life they are kind of uh they are kind of not having that much of time to invest but they are also thinking about getting married to you they feel that you know they have to be something they have to they are investing their entire time on their work so that they can get married to you because they feel like home okay this person has marriage on their mind with you but at the same point of time they know that they need to balance themselves their career their finances everything so that they can manage things with you at the same point of time uh i see that you know right now uh somewhere down the line they see that uh your or it can be you know your energy as well so it is not only their energy but they it can be your energy as well because they see you as somebody who is very much invested at their work and a very practical person right but they do want to get married to you they feel like home with you and with two of swords they are not saying anything as of now they just want to focus on their work and they just want to be something and they want to progress this relationship towards the higher level of commitment they, that's their current energies right now they feel that you know i uh you know you are not taking a step ahead because somewhere down the line they need to uh improve themselves they need to improve what they did they need to balance themselves out and somewhere down the line they also agree that you know they did a mistake that's the reason we have page of cups in the collective and um, in order for them to actually give uh, take a higher level of commitment from you they need to uh, be something they need to become practical they need to be become strong they need to focus on their work they need to balance their life they have to come out of this naive uh, this childish behavior and if in order they and if in case they want to get a commitment from you they need to do a lot of self work and that is why they are not taking any actions for now because first they want to do better in their life and then they want to come forward towards you bottom of the deck again we have page of cups page of wands and the eight of eight of okay we have four of pentacles as well here so i'm going to take this card so uh i feel that you may even have options uh okay so this person initially when this uh, you know started the entire thing started they were very childish very kiddish somebody who can be younger to you if not younger than a little immature in their behavior right so this person is somebody who started in a very casual way and you may have met online as well possibility but if not online but uh, you kind of reconnected uh, online it seems yeah and uh, this person started in a very casual way but all of a sudden they realized that you know somewhere down the line um whatever they did because of which your heart chakra has been closed whatever you were investing you've kind of taken your power back and now they are feeling sorry about things that they did they want to come forward they want to be with you they want to propose to you and they want to communicate they want to take give and take clarity as well but because of this na uh, immature and naive behavior they kind of you know pushed you away and right now you're kind of very closed off from them and they can feel those energies right page of cups tells me that this person is feeling really sorry about what they did to you or towards this connection and at the same point of time with page of cups i also do realize that this person somewhere down the line 
wants to offer you this cup of love and fix things eight of wands tells me that there is a lot of clarity that this person is looking forward for this person wants to speak to you and this person wants to uh, bring a lot of clarity in this connection for few of you i also see traveling or probably i see travel plans coming up uh, with, uh, either this person is traveling or you both are traveling yeah so let's see what are your current energies towards this connection and this person current energies judgment again there's a lot of decision making that you are doing based on this person's actions it seems so this particular love that you are into it's a challenging and karmic love yeah this was supposed to happen you guys were supposed to meet and th this person was supposed to bring a lot of challenges in your life right and that is why you don't have answers to many things that is happening sorry i'm just trying to adjust the camera so that you have a better view and that is why you don't have an answer to many things that this person is doing in this particular connection right this card also says challenging and karmic connection somewhere down the line i definitely feel that you are trying to take a call you're waiting watching observing uh, and you're trying to improve this person you're seeing whether this person is ready to do the work and is person is this person trying to improve or not right with ten of pentacles i also feel that somewhere down the line there is a lot of improvement that you're looking for you are looking for happiness you're looking for abundance you're looking for stability and flourishing love that will give you a lot of uh, stability in your life you know you're looking for a uh, for a person who will compliment you you're looking for somebody who is going to provide for you right at the same point of time you want to have a family you want to have a happy family but at the same point of time i also see that there is a lot of things that are going on here you want to have a happy family you want to have kids you want stability you want abundance financial abundance as well right something tells me that and there's one card that free want let me quickly pick it up for you guys okay so we have the hermit so what's telling me right now that you're looking for abundance to come in you're taking a call you're waiting watching observing whether this person is ready to put in the efforts and whatever wrongs they have done are they ready to you know uh, fix them or not and the hermit also tells me that there is a lot of self introspection and self love that you are indulging uh, in right now you're taking care of yourself probably you're investing time with yourself the things that you like to do you're doing that and that is helping you out a lot let me tell you that right so meanwhile when this person is putting in a uh, work on themselves you are putting in work on yourself and there is a new beginning that you're expecting to happen in your connection right the devil you don't want obsession you don't want a toxic love you want somebody to work really hard you want somebody to work really hard for this connection if they really want you then this person really have to work really hard and prove themselves only then this new beginning will happen otherwise it will be a toxic connection for you you are hopeful that this person is going to do things for you balance things and heal themselves and uh, this is going to be a healing connection and this person is going to transform uh make them worth this connection because we have magician that tells me that this person is working upon themselves manifesting a lot and transforming for you trying to balance themselves heal themselves and very hopeful so if you see oh my god all the major arcanas lined up four major arcanas are actually lined up right now let's see what is the future what action your person is going to take towards this connection what action is your person going to take towards this connection the moon and the hangman right now they are worried and they really don't know what to do when it comes to direction when it comes to soul searching when it comes to actually finding out a direction and uh, kind of gaining clarity they don't have it okay so they don't have a plan this person is worried that they will lose you they have a lot of fears anxiety and uh, they are not even able to sleep because this person doesn't know how to do stuff this person is all in, in their head and they really don't know they are looking for a direction probably a mentor a guide is very important for this person right nine of swords 
unable to sleep lot of fears lot of anxieties don't know what to do how things will happen futuristic worries this person may even go through a depression because of this so you know somewhere down the line i feel this person is missing a lot of clarity three of swords a heartbreak this person is also going through a heartbreak some amount of pain that this person is feeling a transformation this person is feeling right this person feels that you know in case if he or she doesn't transform things will be very ugly between you and them i don't know what really happened between you and your person because of the third party situation or probably uh, there were other uh, reasons as well uh, you kind of uh, pulled back and you kind of moved on but the reality is they were never interested in the third party they were interested in you and now they are regretting what they did it is becoming very overwhelming and lot of burdensome you know it's like they don't know how to fix it they don't have a direction they are trying to focus on their work career they are trying to make themselves worthy of you right so this person is going to transform though it will be very difficult for them because they somewhere down the line with 10 of wands it they feel that it is very overwhelming and overburdening uh you know uh for them right now they are getting tired by thinking too much king of wands definitely tells me with the lovers card that this person is going to be very be very in and out they are going to say something but their actions are going to be completely different uh so king of wands have a chameleon on the, uh, on his clothes if you see that so don't trust the situation that much because they are going to do something say something they might even hide few things with the lovers card i also feel that somewhere down the line uh with the lovers card i see that uh this person definitely is in love with you uh but there has been a third party i don't know why there's a very strong pro prominent third party situation that is cropping up again and again it was in the past or uh, right now as well they are thinking about it but uh, this person is going to transform the wheel of fortune tells me that things are going to turn around for good in a 360 degree right with ace of cups i also feel that there is a new beginning and that is happening in next one month i see that this person is going to come out of the depression depressive mode where the overwhelming mode and things are going to turn around by the october as and when october will start there will be a lot of clarity this person will receive and they will come back with full uh, love emotions and passions to passion towards you right that is the action that this person is going to take so let this mercury retrograde pass one Once it is over, when uh, October starts, I feel there will be a lot of balance. Your connection will regain, and there will be a lot of clarity that you will get, right? Because they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They can, they see you as somebody they can get married to. They can, um, they, uh, they can have kids with, and they can be happy with in a committed relationship, right? Now let's see what are your actions going to be. What are your actions going to be? world card uh i see a travel coming up okay but your actions are going to be the negativity in your mind will get uh, cleared right you are uh, you are also willing f uh, willing to uh, end this negativity you are also trying to balance this connection and you want to be fair with this person and you also need a fair love a balanced love in your life a deserving love in your life with page of swords i feel that uh, somewhere down the line you are also waiting watching observing whether this particular connection is the one for you or not you are very careful because i think there is a higher level of commitment also involved like uh, we had four of wands here so this person wants to get married to you but you want to get married to them or not that's a question in your head and in their head as well and that is why this person is kind of worried right the temperance uh, there's a lot of balance that is required you're trying to heal right now i see patience healing and balance you're keeping patience and you're kind of kind of waiting as to when this connection uh when uh the things are going to improve king of pentacles tells me that you know we had queen of pentacles here we have king of pentacles here six of pentacles balance 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 patience and commitment and high level of commitment uh and stability that is what you're looking at right now yeah yeah 
sun card you want happiness you want long term you want harmonious love you don't want conflicts you don't want doubts you want clarity whether this person is going to be the one or not that is something that you're going to achieve just give it 19 20 days i think this month of september once the mercury gets over you post that mercury uh, retrograde getting over you know you will receive a lot of clarity here a lot of clarity king of wands this in and out will also stop right and you will be very confident about this person and this love knight of pentacles it was slow this person have been following you uh from a very long time and i think this person has been the one who proposed to you as well and you kind of uh you know because if you see this biker is following this lady <laughs> yeah and four of swords you're overthinking you're kind of overthinking what is going to happen whether this particular connection is going to transform you are going to transform or your person is going to transform and the answer is yes wheel of fortune and the hierophant oh my god queen of cups and eight of wands okay i see travel again queen of cups tells me there there is love there is emotional attachment hierophant tells me you want to get married and the wheel of fortune tells me everything is going to happen just wait it out right now these these were your energies now let's see what is the future of this connection what is the future of this connection high priestess you're not supposed to know right now your intuitions will guide the way with due course of time with divine timing you will also get to know but right now nothing I've, the answer is uncertain wait and watch right now what you're being guided to do is to balance this connection out wait it out balance this connection out right with two of wands i also feel that somewhere down the line with two of wands i also feel that somewhere down the line you are looking at the future you're balancing you're doing the hard work you're trying to balance your life and this connection and they are also trying and you have left everything onto the future you're letting the divine and universe decide for you so is your person however i also feel there is a lot of self introspection self work and healing process which is going on between you both and in this particular connection i see somebody has definitely gone into a solitude state of mind either you or your person which is actually disturbing the other person uh whosoever has gone into a solitude state of mind the other person can see it and nine of uh, swords is somebody uh who is getting worried about it right a uh, queen of wands somebody is very cold towards this connection because this person is trying to heal i think it's you you're trying to heal you have gone into a solitude state of mind uh you're trying to focus on your work and you're trying to be practical and take a practical decision here right that is something which is worrying your person it seems about the future what else you are somebody who's a go-getter who knows how to deal with stuff you are very creative very passionate you are outgoing you are somebody who uh, can be a leader who can who knows how to get things done professional and personal life as well both right and there is some sort of transformation which is coming in in this particular connection probably you are transforming or they are transforming and somebody is becoming very practical when it comes to love affairs right there is attraction there is new beginning in the future there is love relationship i think you guys are already in a relationship but there is a transformation from practical you will fall in love there will be a new beginning but at the same point of time i see the empress card that also tells me that there is a lot of self-love which is uh, required okay there's a lot of self-love healing caring nurture nurturing care and nurturing which is required in this particular connection right because this person who uh, you are involved with makes you uh, doubt this connection uh, seems to be somebody who's very careless somebody who is very uh, childish and carefree somebody who takes things very casually that keeps you on foot and that keeps you thinking and that keeps you directionless as to where this connection is gonna go 10 of cups you want happily ever after and they want happily ever after but i think the aggression the ego is something that you are scared about in this particular connection so it's a mix like i said the high priestess you're not supposed to know the answer right now but if you're gonna ask me is there any future of this connection i'm gonna say the chances are bright but it's not certain i would say chances are really bright okay because both of you are looking for a commitment both of you are looking for a stability the only thing is uh you know this person really needs to work upon themselves that is when you will get to know how stable this connection is going to be and that clarity it seems that you will uh, get post mercury retrograde yeah
so let's see what are the messages from your person to you messages from your person to you please I'm trying to reach out to you only you know me inside out I am sorry I disconnected from you let's know each other first yeah my soul is awakening I am coming for you I don't care when and how but we will be together what else do we have we make a good couple what do we do now let's see what are your messages towards this person yeah your messages please towards this person I am sorry so you're saying sorry about certain something maybe a decision or something but you're saying sorry about something I am scared of our connection because of my past experience so this person is definitely scared of the connection because of the past experience I am tired I can't see any good right now so this person says that I'm uh, so you are saying I'm scared of a connection because of my past experience you don't want to take any risk I am sorry and probably that is why you're waiting it out watching it out I am tired I can't see any good right now so you are kind of you know kind of like I said, you are kind of indecisive and you're waiting, watching whether this person is going to transform or not. And that is when you are going to say a yes. I want you in my arms now. At the same point of time, you also have some emotional touch connection with this person. I can't think straight and like I said, clouded judgment. My family is very judgmental of us being together. Probably you have spoken to your family and they kind of do not approve of this connection or something. Right? What else? Will you marry me? What else do we have? Please don't look down upon me. So these are the few extra messages guys. Today's video, I'm so sorry, has been really long. But it has been quite... Uh, you know, informational as well, I feel. Because... Uh, uh, you know all these days they the clarity was missing when i was doing the energy update as well all mixed up energy but today for a change i see that the clarity is coming in what the other person is thinking what you are thinking and what the future is going to be so whatever you are doing whatever answers that you are searching for just say at some i have arrived yeah so your answers will be right there so Thank you so much for tuning in and do like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit me up on my Instagram as well. Follow me there as well for daily updates and reels and posts. I'm more active there to be very frank. And uh, also do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment right there. And if you're looking for a paid reading, you know what to do. Hit me up on my Instagram DM there. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.